And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 today, some more side questing. Definitely seeing more parts of the map by going ahead and doing these side quests. I would definitely recommend doing those side quests. Uh, I mean, I've found secret rooms and things like that. Uh, like, not exact, I don't know if you would call it a secret room. But it was just definitely something that was like, like an easter egg, I guess you could put it. But unfortunately, it was too graphic within that Easter egg to show you guys. It's like a 18 plus from almost. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you support button. I think I'm going to go ahead and come over to this quest next. And probably check out this location while we're here. Anyways, let's get into playing some more Dying Light 2. finished. Well done, Hotshot. Your first delivery was a success. Did I do the Pharaoh proud? Funny. If by Pharaoh you mean me, then I. I approve. Now come back when you're ready for more. They're not all going to be that easy. I'm back for more. That's the spirit! And before I send you on your next run, I have another history lesson for you. This time, I'm gonna take you farther back to Mesopotamia. Like, uh, 9,500 years ago, when writing itself was invented. Mm, writing? Wow. Expressly for the sake of deliveries, no less. People used to order goods by sending out clear tokens. Each one had notches carved in them to show how many items they wanted. So I'd send you a clay token with three notches, and you'd send me three items, like uh, fish or hats. Aye, something like that. It's what started everything we do. Everything the Carrier's Guild is about. Oh, I guess we're not just messengers after all. No. Now take this box where it needs to go. It's fragile, so be careful.
It's Flash. Did you mess with it? No. Maybe it's yeah. the water. Yeah. <laughs> I have a package for you. What's my brother sent this time? Oh, ha <laughs> ha Very funny, Angelo. What is it? A clock. A busted one. Yeah, I was careful. You did fine, son. He sent it busted. His little joke. I don't get it. My brother Angelo is a cynic. I'm 84. He's the baby of the family at just a year younger, so he sends a busted clock. Who needs a clock these days, especially at our age? What is time anymore? Do you even know what day it is, precisely? But well, not really. Right. It's just the next day after the day before, and that's how it'll go till we die. And that's funny? Okay, so Angelo won't be headlining any comedy club soon, if there were any. But this old man finds him amusing. <laughs> Thank you, son.
It looks like you've got another notch on your clear token, hotshot. That was an eccentric old man. Flavio? Aye. Well, he and his brother are quite a pair. Old as dirt. Probably pre-Mesopotamian. Not everyone out there is that entertaining, though. You'll see. Well, that is if you want to keep at it. Come back when you're ready for another delivery. Maybe it's time to chill this one. I think this is just an infant loop. I think that's what's gonna go on here. What you got to sell? Ah, I'll take all those. And I'll take all those. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, do a different quest because that's clearly just gonna keep looping. No, let's do one more and see if it loops. If it does number four, carries four, then we know it loops. If not, then it ends, hopefully. But yeah, I want to try to trim some of these side quests out because it's starting to get a little full. I think this quest keeps looping. We'll find out, though. What do you have for me this time, Professor? Professor! Ha! You're catching on. Nice one. Today is envelope day. Humanity's been using envelopes since before the Egyptians made them out of papyrus. But it was the Chinese who invented paper envelopes at the suggestion of some smart guy who realized that papyrus, silk, and other materials were too darned expensive. Maybe that's why they were called cheapo. Cause that guy was a cheapo. Stands to reason. All right, hotshot. Lesson time's over. I've got some envelopes that need to go to different places. Well, you can count on me.
I'm from the Carrier's Guild. D did our parents send you? Who is it? Shh, baby. How did you find us? That's what the Carrier's Guild does, but no one else knows. Not even whoever sent that letter. It it's from your parents. And my dad, too. What did they say? To come home. That they forgive us. That we can work this out. Let's go, Mickey. I don't want to hide anymore. I want to go home. It could be a trap, baby. A, a trick to get us to come back and then separate us once and for all. Please, Mickey. I can't live like this. I miss my mom. But I love you, baby. I don't want them getting between us again. But, Mickey! I'm gonna leave you kids to it. Good luck. Letter for you, sir. I'm sure it wasn't easy to get here. Doesn't have to be easy. I just do my job. Well, I sure am thankful for you and the Carrier's Guild. Here's a little something extra. Oh, that's not necessary. Nonsense. Take it with my thanks.
Black Man deals with these damn renegades. Don't want my name. <laughs> This one's worn out. Welcome back, hot shot. I've got news for you. Uh, what now, Professor? You gonna tell me that because the Chinese invented paper, they invented the paper cut, too? I already figured that out. Are you going to keep being a smart arse or are you going to listen? As of this delivery, you've been promoted from initiate to regular member of the Carrier's Guild. You deserve it, hotshot. Keep it up and you'll earn another rank in no time. I have to say, Driscoll, I enjoy the work. Well, that's good to hear. Because with higher rank comes higher privileges. You now have access to the Guild lockers hidden around the city. We stock them full of useful supplies, so you don't have to come back here to top up. Take this key and look for our mark. Like it or not, you're one of us now, hotshot. I do like it, Professor. Thank you. There we go, we got our answer. It's no longer gave the best quest, so maybe it's not infinite anymore. It started to feel like it was infinite, like a loop of quests you can get. But anyways, let's get on to figuring out what next quest we're going to do.
Thank you enough. Take this, please. Look what I brought you. Oh, uh, my God. Is it from my goon? Uh, let me see. Pilgrim, you can stand tall today, for you have done your part, however small, in making art history. Now leave. I have to focus to create the one red the world longs to see and paint a fresco that will change it forever. If you come back later, maybe you will see it. Oh, uh, you may have a use for this. My older brother John gave it to me for protection, but I'd probably kill myself trying to use it.
I found the safe. Here. These are all of them? You're certain? All the ones from the safe. They're beautiful. The jackass knew how to write. Too bad he didn't only write them to me. You know what he said right before he died? That he loved another woman and regretted she wasn't there beside him. I'll never forgive him for that. What are you doing? Freeing myself from him. Eleven years I've tried to do this, but failed. I've wanted so badly to erase him from my memory, but I keep thinking of these damned letters. The only proof that anything ever bound us. Now he's gone. Without a trace. I... I don't know what to say. Hey! Why the long face? Lighten up, Aiden. You really helped me. I feel like someone has lifted my curse. There were some valuables in the safe, too. Take them if you want. Are you sure? I'm done living in the past. Farewell, Charlotte. Take care. Farewell, Aiden. The Butcher's our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people that have arrived. Anyways, guys, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the support button. I'll see you guys again soon.